It's USA MVP. I'm here to talk about the Tavares Cloud versus Bernard Hopkins fight coming up next week. Um, going into this fight, I see this fight as being a perfect fight for Bernard Hopkins. Stylistically, I think this will be one of his more less risky fights. Um, to beat a fighter like Bernard Hopkins, who's very crafty technician, um, you need to have a great jab. And you have to throw a lot in volume in order to beat him on the scorecards. Bernard Hopkins is very crafty. He picks and chooses his punches. If you outwork him on the scorecards and keep him at the end of your jab, you'll win. Just like when um, he fought Jermaine Taylor. And same thing with Chad Dawson. You have a guy that's pretty rangy, keep you at the end of your jab. Bernard Hopkins has an answer if you don't throw as many jabs, but if you throw a lot of jabs, you got him. Um, Bernard Hopkins' last fight uh, was with John Pascal. Uh, it was pretty good performance by Bernard Hopkins. And I think with Tavares Cloud, he's... He's similar to Pascal in a lot of ways, meaning they both like to throw a lot of hooks. Uh, Pascal has more athleticism. He's faster, he's more explosive, and he has better footwork than Cloud. So if you take all the way away from Pascal, it would have been a more easier fight for Bernard Hopkins. Uh, if you looked at uh, the fight that Tavares Cloud got the the robbery of uh, Campilo, you see he got exposed in that fight. He's he's susceptible to the jab, and if you take away his hooks, he has no uh, he has no other way of fighting. He's not an adaptive fighter. Um, so I think on this fight, it's going to be probably pretty boring because you know Bernard Hopkins makes his fights ugly. But he wins them, very crafty veteran, and I think he's going to win this one on the scorecards. I don't think he's going to stop Tavares Clout, because I think Tavares Clout does have a pretty decent chin. And Bernard Hopkins is going to run around the ring, pick and choose his spots. He doesn't have to worry about um, the explosiveness like Pascal had. He doesn't have to worry about the quick hand speed. I don't even think Tavares Clout has quick hand speed. He's just a pretty good stalking power puncher. Uh, let me know what you think. Bernard Hopkins by decision.